Do you need an alter ego? After reading The Alter Ego Effect by Todd Herman, I'm convinced that this is one of the most powerful tools you can utilize to be the best version of yourself. Now, in the book, he talks about the ordinary world and the extraordinary world. In the ordinary world, you might find yourself not having the skills, the traits, the characteristics necessary to go and crush that sales presentation, to go and have the work ethic that you need in the gym. But when you go and step into the extraordinary world, that's when you put on these alter egos and you're able to, boom, all of a sudden be that person that you want to be. It's very much Peter Parker not being able to defeat the Green Goblin, but Spider-Man can. That's the extraordinary world. And you see this with a lot of different athletes. Kobe Bryant had the Black Mamba, the Mamba mentality. So when he stepped into that, different mindset, different perspective, traits, characteristics. Beyonce became Sasha Fierce when she was young in her career and didn't have the confidence or felt a little bit nervous being as out there as she was. And so here's how I use it. When I need to go and have the most honor, integrity, and just be a solid, upstanding man, I go and step into my Maximus Decimus Meridius from the Gladiator because that guy's got honor, he's got integrity. When I need to go and be the best athlete that I can be, I step into Achilles, uh, Brad Pitt from Troy, and I remember that quote, that is why no one will remember your name. So when I tell myself, oh, I should quit, I go, oh, well, that's why no one will remember your name, back into it. And so you can utilize this by basically saying, cool, I might not have the skill sets, but this person does. And then once you start to exhibit these traits, after a long enough time, that just becomes who you are and who you are at your core.